Well, hi everyone, Steve Patterson here from PhotoshopEssentials.com. In this video, I'll show you how to crop an image into a circle with Photoshop. Usually when we think of cropping images, we think of rectangles and squares. And if we're using Photoshop's crop tool, we don't really have any other options. But who says we need to use the crop tool? Photoshop makes it just as easy to crop an image using a selection tool. To crop an image to a circle, we'll use the elliptical marquee tool. I'll be using Photoshop CC, but any recent version of Photoshop will Will work. Be sure to check out this tutorial on our website where you'll also find the complete text version. Thanks for joining me and let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is open our image. I downloaded this one from Adobe Stock. If we look in the layers panel, we see the image sitting on the background layer. Before we can crop our image to a circle, we first need to convert the background layer into a normal layer. The reason is that we'll need to be able to surround our image with transparency, but Photoshop doesn't allow transparency on the background layer. To convert the background layer into a normal layer, all we need to do is rename it. In Photoshop CC, you can just click on the lock icon. In Photoshop CS6 or earlier, press and hold the Alt key on your keyboard, and that's on a Windows PC, or on a Mac, press and hold the Option key, and double-click on the background layer. This instantly renames the layer from background to layer zero. And that's all we need to do to convert the background layer into a normal layer. Next, we need to select the elliptical marquee tool from the toolbar. By default, the elliptical marquee tool is nested behind the rectangular marquee tool. On a Windows PC, right-click on the rectangular marquee tool. On a Mac, press and hold your control key and click. Then choose the elliptical marquee tool from the menu. To draw a circular selection outline, press and hold the shift key on your keyboard, then click and drag. Keeping the shift key held down as you draw the selection outline forces it into a perfect circle. When you're happy with the selection, release your mouse button, then release your shift key. Once you've drawn the selection outline, click inside of it and drag it into position. The area inside the circle is the area we'll be keeping. Everything outside the circle will be cropped away. At the moment, we have the area inside the circle selected. What we actually need is for the area outside of it to be selected. To deselect the area inside the circle and select everything around it, go up to the Select menu and choose Inverse. Then, with everything outside the circle now selected, on a Windows PC, press the Backspace key on your keyboard. On a Mac, press Delete. Photoshop deletes everything outside the circle and fills it with a checkerboard pattern, which is how Photoshop represents transparency. To remove the selection outline, go up to the Select menu and choose Deselect. All we need to do now is crop away the transparent areas around the circle. Go up to the Image menu and choose Trim. In the Trim dialog box, choose Transparent Pixels at the top. Then make sure that Top, Bottom, Left and Right are all selected. Click OK to close the Trim dialog box and Photoshop instantly trims away the surrounding transparent areas, leaving us with our cropped version of the image. At this point, we're ready to save it. Normally, we'd save a photo as a JPEG, but that's not a good choice here because the JPEG format doesn't support transparency. To keep the transparency in the corners and avoid filling them with white, we need to choose a format that does support transparency. And the best choice for that is the PNG format. To save the image as a PNG file, go up to the File menu and choose Save As. In the Save As dialog box, Set the format to PNG. Enter a name for the file and choose where you want to save it. Then click Save. Photoshop will ask you to choose some options for how to save the PNG file, but you can just accept the defaults by clicking OK. And there we have it. That's how to crop an image into a circle and how to save it as a PNG file in Photoshop.
If you found this video helpful, be sure to click the subscribe button. Check out our website, photoshopessentials.com, where you'll find hundreds of tutorials covering Photoshop basics, image editing, photo effects, text effects, and more. As always, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. I'm Steve Patterson from photoshopessentials.com.